flanked by some of the brightest stars in the world of entertainment and legends of the game, the world's top players ditched their football kit for a tuxedo for tonight's gala. As far as the top prize on offer, the 2011 FIFA Ballon d'Or. The nominees, Leo Messi, Xavi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Before the ceremony, some of the brightest names in the world of football were already calling Messi one of the best players of all time. Lionel Messi we could play in the 50s, he could play in the, in the present day, as could Di Stefano, Pelé, Maradona, Cruyff, he could all play any level because they're great players. And Lionel Messi, without question, comes into that category. It's a good question for Sir Alex, because uh, he was lucky to, to, to see Pelé, see Mr Di Stefano and, uh, and the rest. But I think we are agree with Sir Alex, uh, now he can sit beside on them. It, be, it depends on him in the, in the future if, if he continue to stay there. Lionel Messi. And the 24-year-old Argentine added more strength to the case that he is one of the best ever by picking up the Ballon d'Or for the third year running. As expected, the Barcelona forward beat Cristiano Ronaldo and Xavi in the voting by national team coaches, captains and international journalists. The FIFA Women's Player of the Year award was given to the captain of Japan's World Cup winning team, Homare Sawa, while Pep Guardiola was rewarded for Barcelona's phenomenal season with the Coach of the Year accolade. After the ceremony, Pep's star player <laughs> talked about winning the night's star prize. El mismo que el otro dos, ¿no? This one is just as special as the other two I have won. Team trophies are more important to me, but this is still a great prize to win. So that's a hat trick for Messi, and with Barcelona's incredible title-winning run showing no signs of relenting, who would wager against Little Leo, making it four Ballon d'Ors in a row this time next year? Bet against it at your peril. Pedro Pinto, CNN, Zurich.